Today we'll be solving the fifth challenge on Ethernaut called Token. Let's take a look at our objective. Scroll down. The goal of this level is for you to hack this basic token contract. You are given 20 tokens and you'll beat the level if you somehow manage to get your hands on any additional tokens. Let's take a look at the code. I'll copy this over to Remix, then also get a new instance for this contract. Confirm. Inside Remix, I've copied over the code and also the objective. Again, as a reminder, the objective is that we are given 20 tokens and we'll beat this level if we can increase our token balance from 20 to something over 20. 21 will be fine. Our token balance will be stored in the mapping balances. So I've highlighted the state variable balances and let's see how we might be able to update this balances to something greater than 20. And I see that the balance is, is set inside the constructor and the only other place that we can update the balance is inside the function transfer. This function first checks the balance and then updates the balance. The key to solving this challenge is that this challenge is for solidity 0.6. Remember that in solidity 0.6, safe math was not enabled. So that means we'll be able to perform overflows and underflows without any errors. So how can we exploit that this contract is in solidity 0.6 and it has no safe math checks? Well, notice this operation over here. If we have a balance of 0 and then we put in a value of let's say 1, 0 minus 1 will underflow so that this will become the max uint and max uint will be greater than or equal to 0. The balance of the caller will be updated and balance 2 will also be incremented. So what this means is that if we call the function transfer from an account that doesn't have any tokens, and then for the to address, we set this to our account, then we will be able to increase our token balance. So let's write this in code using Solidity 0.8. I've declared the interface for the token. The functions that we'll be using later are balance of to get the balance of our account and the function transfer to transfer the tokens. I'll name this contract hack. And we'll write our code inside the constructor. Constructor address of the target. This will be the address of the target contract that we deployed on Ethernet. And then we'll load the contract. I token at the target. And then we'll call the function transfer. Transfer to to message.sender. So that will be the address of our account and the amount one. Because this hack contract doesn't have any tokens, when we call the function transfer, this will underflow. The balance of this contract will underflow to max uint and send one token over to message.sender. Compile the contract, hit F12 on Ethernet, get the contract address. Back inside Remix, click on deployment tab, make sure that we're on the Gorley testnet, and then deploy the hack contract with the address of the challenge. Confirm. Okay, the contract was successfully deployed, so let's check the balance of the tokens. So what I'm gonna do is load the token contract at the address that we copied, scroll down, click on iToken, and then we'll check the balance of our account. Copy the address of our account, paste it here, and then click on balance up. Notice that we started out with 20 and we now have 21 tokens. The last step of Ethernaut is to submit our instance. Click confirm, and we completed this challenge. See you in the next.